Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. I hope that you guys are doing well. I just got out of the bath. I haven't done my skincare yet. My face feels kind of tight. Um, I am just going to be doing a very chill, chatty, laid back video for today. I posted a chatty video, um, I don't know, maybe about a month ago now, and I was talking about uh, materialism and plants and wishlist plants and whatnot, and uh, I got a lot of feedback that you guys really like just these kind of relaxed, chatty videos. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be posting um, this style of video every once in a while. This is honestly going to be just like... Uh, podcast style almost because I don't really think I'm going to be putting much on the screen in this video. I'm just going to be kind of talking so feel free to play this as you're you know doing chores or doing whatever you need to do or watch me. <laughs> I'm probably not going to edit this video very much either so yeah I did write down some like thoughts and some points that I want to touch on so that I have like some sort of a guide and we're not just going off on different tangents here, but I'll probably go off on tangents anyways. Um, today I wanted to just kind of sit down and share my thoughts about downsizing my collection and just talking about a lot of the different feelings I have been going through over the past, honestly, quite a while now um, with my plant collection and kind of where I am in my journey. and things that I've learned and different realizations that I've had um, because, you know, I've definitely learned a lot and my perspective has definitely shifted from when I first started collecting plants, which was about three years ago now. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, a lot. <laughs> I've learned a lot. A lot has happened in that time. It honestly feels like I have lived like several lifetimes between when I first started collecting plants to now. Um, yeah, it's very crazy, but that's a whole other topic. Um, so I guess I'm just going to start off by talking about why I downsized or maybe okay let's just talk about my downsizing my plants in general so I had over 200 plants um, not too long ago and I recently got rid of over a hundred of them um, when I say I got rid of I either sold them or gave them away and what triggered that giant purge or what like pushed me to do it was um, the fact that I was moving to a much smaller space and uh, it was going to be a move to a different city so it's not it's it just wasn't convenient to be moving that many plants and I didn't have the space for all of them I mean I could have fit them all but it just would have been it just would have been way too much. So that's what kind of prompted me to be like, okay, I need to do a giant purge. But I had been feeling like I was wanting to downsize for quite a while. And I think a lot of people can relate to the way I was feeling. Like, I feel like this is kind of, there, there's like kind of like a collective thing happening because I'm noticing so many plant purges and um, just, yeah, people downsizing their collections, people being burnt out from caring for so many plants, which makes sense because people, like a lot of people had a lot more time to care for plants and now things are kind of shifting and changing and people don't have that much time to care for plants, so it totally makes sense. But for me, I, I was becoming so overwhelmed with my collection because I, I accumulated so many plants in a relatively short span of time. And I even had like a turnover, like a turnover of plants in there as well, because I first got into plants and I collected so many, like every plant that I saw at the nursery that I didn't already have, I was like, oh my goodness, like this is a blah, 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 like I need this. And I'd bring it home and add it to my collection. And I gained a lot of plants that I didn't necessarily love or know how to take care of or was prepared to take care of. Um, and then I got rid of a lot of those plants. And then there was kind of like a second wave for me um, where I collected, I got a whole bunch of like more expensive and 
um, rare plants in a relatively short span of time. And I ended up in this place where I had so many plants. I ended up having a whole bedroom that was designated to plants without necessarily like thinking about if the plants I was collecting were going to bring me joy. Did I want to expend my energy caring for that plant? Like, was it going to be a mutual exchange of energy? Was I going to get anything back from that? Any, you know, anything positive back from that? And a lot of the time it was not that way just because I was overloaded with the sheer amount of responsibilities that came with the number of plants that I had. Like, I want to be able to enjoy taking care of my plants. I want to be able to enjoy and be excited to repot them and be excited when I see new leaves and just feel good about providing them care. You know what I mean? But I had so many, I was just, I was so overwhelmed. I just wanted to pop in here um, because I feel like mental, I maybe should have like talked about mental health in this section a little bit more. Um, but like, not only is it hard to care for all my plants when I'm depressed, um, or caught up in anxiety, but the way my brain works, like, if I can't keep track of things, I will just be overwhelmed and shut down and I won't want to do any of it. And I'll just put things off. Like if so many, if like, you know, if if a quarter of my collection all needs to be repotted, it's just, and I have 225 plants, it's just too much for me. And my brain just can't, it just like can't organize that and it doesn't want to do it. And it's just way too overwhelming. Um, so yeah, it was definitely like just hard for me in that aspect as well. Like my brain just cannot with that. Because I had so many, I felt like I wasn't, I just wasn't able to experience the enjoyment of caring for them. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like so many people get caught up in just like the excitement of buying a new plant. Um, and you're so focused on just like buying and adding more and more and more. This ties into the whole like materialism thing um, in houseplant collecting. But you get so caught up in just like looking for the next plant that you don't really get to appreciate the collection that you already have. And I was just feeling that so much. Like I was like, I don't, I'm not enjoying this. Like I don't have the time or the energy to be providing each and every one of these plants with the care that I want to provide them. And that's like, it just defeats the purpose. Like I, you just have to think about why, why are you in this hobby? Like, why did you get into houseplants? It's because I enjoyed caring for them. Like, I remember I only, I started off with like a very small number of plants, like a small handful of plants, three or four or five. And I remember I would check, I was like a helicopter plant parent. I would check them every single day and I would just be like dying for something that I could do to care for them. Like, come on, does anyone need to be repotted yet? Like, can I do anything for anybody yet? Like, you know what I mean? And I, I miss that feeling of just like being able to enjoy providing the care and I just I was so I was so far away from that. I feel like a lot of people are also kind of far away from that and I think like the plant community has just blown up so much so you know it's it's easy to get caught up in that to just be focused on like the next thing because we're bombarded on social media with all of these perfect beautiful wish list plants that we want to get as well and we always have an ever-growing long wish list so i am definitely going to be placing an emphasis on just caring for my plants um, being present with my plants and and just having the experience of my plants benefiting me. I benefit my plants because I care for them, but I need them to benefit me as well or else it's not it's not a mutual exchange, you know what I mean? I need them to bring me joy or peace or um, just, you know, affect my mental health in a positive way and not a negative way. And that's the whole point of the hobby. I'm already feeling so re-inspired with my collection. Um, I'm enjoying checking on my plants every day because I have 
half the amount now, probably less than half the amount now, and I can actually keep an eye on everybody. I can appreciate every new leaf that comes in. And it's just been, it's just been so nice. It's been making me so happy. I honestly just like have a renewed sense of gratitude. Sorry, I know it's getting dark in here. The sun is going down. <laughs> Something else that's kind of an interesting thing that I've been thinking about is um, the fact that I don't have a plant room anymore. And I honestly don't think that having a plant room was doing me any favors. Like I don't think that it was beneficial for me personally, um, like having a room just dedicated to plants. Um, I, I know a lot of people have plant rooms and I think it's amazing and it's awesome, but just like reflections that I've had, I, I feel like it, I just feel like I didn't really get to appreciate my plants and the only times I was finding myself going in my plant room was when I had a chore to do, when I had to water, when I had to do some sort of plant task. Um, like to be completely honest, I wouldn't go in there very often to just look at my plants and to just like admire their beauty and be around them. Um, I It just, it was out of my way, I just didn't really... I don't know, when I went in there, I, I had a task, I had a chore, or I was filming, or I was doing something, um, and then it would turn into a big mess and sometimes become a stressor. I'm really excited and I'm feeling really good about the fact that I am living among my plants now, like they're in my living space now. They're in my bedroom and they're in my living room and there's some in my kitchen. Um, so I get to see them every day. Like I'm just sitting in my living room and I have all well a big portion of my plants right here i get to look at them i'm noticing things about them i'm looking at my plants honestly more than i have in in a long time and it feels really good it just feels like that's how it should be like that's the point of having house plants you know what i mean for me for me i know a lot of people are different and that's so amazing everyone has a different experience and everybody um, finds joy in plants in different ways but this is all just like things that I've been thinking about and things that I have been feeling so I'm definitely shifting my focus to just appreciating plants more and appreciating them into my space and finding new ways to kind of incorporate them into my space I really want to focus on different ways to display them um, different pottery like I just really like I want it to be a whole vibe you know I don't want it to be like like they're just displayed on these shelves like they're in a shop or something like I want them to be part of my home and I want them to be part of me and that's just kind of where I'm at I am still going to be adding new plants to my collection um, here and there like I said in the pa like I've said in the past I want to move more towards doing trades rather than buying plants um, because there's the whole I talked about money in my other video but and I'm just going to be focusing on caring for them and also I guess this is like a whole other thing but I'm not going to be focusing on propagating anymore to create more plants. I want to propagate now to fill out pots of my own plants. I don't like I think that something that was really overwhelming me um, about my collection and my plant room before was that I had so many plants that I was either just like listing on Facebook or I would just like hang on to them for a long time like new little plants that I had grown from propagations and then I would end up with like 10 of the same plant and it was just it was just too much so I definitely found that that is not something that necessarily brings me joy um so I still will be propagating because that's obviously fun um but I'm going to be doing it mostly for my own self <laughs> to fill out pots and then who knows maybe I will end up selling some cuttings some more cuttings in the future I just I just sold so many plants that I don't even want to think about that right now but in the future um, I will probably be propagating and selling some but for the most part right now I really want to like reel it back in and just kind of think about my collection and what makes me happy with my plants. So yeah, I don't have my mini greenhouse anymore. I sold that. Um, both of my like black wire shelves I do not have anymore either. I just have a couple smaller shelves. I'm going to be replacing one of them um, once I can get to Ikea. 
but yeah my like my setup and my approach to plants my just like my mindset has shifted a little bit um just to being more intentional i guess if i had to put a word to it i can't wait to show you guys my new setup i will have a new plant tour coming eventually um i'm not sure when yet but i wanted to have things like all set up the way i wanted them to be but i might just film one before even if things aren't the way i want them to be but yeah i would love to hear like where you guys are at in your plant collecting journey have you had a similar experience to me have you had similar feelings um let me know it's definitely it's just yeah it's such a journey and um yeah watching like new plant parents now kind of like go through the same stages that i did of like wanting to collect every single plant and um yeah i think a lot of people kind of have a similar experience that would definitely be advice that i would give to people just getting into plants is do not just buy every single plant that you see because you have to take care of all those plants you have to buy pots for all of those plants you have to water all of those plants when you're not feeling great you have to you know it's just like it's a lot a lot of responsibility even though it's just plants it takes a lot of time um you know you have to keep up with it mental health that's a whole other i can make a whole video about that as well um i struggle with depression and anxiety and you know caring for over 200 plants was definitely freaking hard for me <laughs> on a lot of days so that's another aspect of just like downsizing my collection that i'm feeling really good about it's more manageable i've seen burnout be come a kind of hot topic in the plant community right now so if you're experiencing this as well um or you even if you don't want to call it burnout even if you're just coming to some of these realizations and having some of these emotions i honestly encourage you to rehome some of your plants like i feel like a weight has been lifted i feel so much lighter i feel so much more inspired um, I wouldn't say that I had fallen out of love with plants, but I definitely wasn't feeling as excited or inspired. And now I feel like I kind of have that spark back. So yeah, I definitely recommend, even if you just rehome a few, um, if you just really think about which ones you're not very excited about, which ones aren't really sparking joy for you and rehome those ones. Like I honestly think that it will make a big difference. But yeah, definitely leave me your thoughts below because I think that this is a really um just interesting topic to talk about so i hope that you guys are well i'm going to edit this video now i am in my sweatpants it's 7 p.m and time to get cozy give this video a like if you liked it make sure you subscribe to my channel for more planty content and i will see you guys in the next one bye Try